Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Flavor Man, Obi from Flavor Equation. Today we're here in Las Vegas, witnessing UFC 296, Kobe Chaos Covington versus Leon Edwards. I'm excited, everyone's excited, but first, what's gotta happen first is that you know, and I know, and everybody else here knows, you cannot watch or talk about a phenomenal fight like that on an empty stomach. So, we have to get food. Let's get it. When it comes to Vegas, there is no shortage of amazing places to eat. However, today, we were looking for a steakhouse. I want a goddamn steak! I if I had a steak, oh boy. I did a quick search of some steakhouses in Vegas, and one name stood out among the rest. Primal! Is there no one else? When I think about a steak or a steakhouse, something primal or medieval awakens it. And to my surprise, when I walked in, I felt like I walked into a hall full of Vikings feasting after a glorious battle. They even have real medieval armor and swords to make you feel more primal. All the appetizers looked amazing, so I had a great idea. Get all of them. While we're waiting for the food to come out, man, I felt like we were missing something. It takes courage to step on the battlefield. And we're in Vegas, so I went with the liquid kind. First on the table was the beef capaccio, which was a tender smoked fillet sliced thin with citrus salad and shaved Gouda cheese. I'm just happy I can pronounce capaccio. I just know this dish is bomb ass toast with raw beef. I give this a nine out of 10. Next on the table was the bone marrow. Everybody on the table loved it. However, it just wasn't my preference. My first impression was that I got this beef flavor directly into my taste buds. However, it's very rich and oily and that's just not my preference. Toast is great with butter and I think of bone marrow as beef butter which works great at a steakhouse. However, I give this a six out of 10. Next up is the steak tartare, and that's prime and A5 Wagyu mixed, served with caviar and grilled baguette. I give this an eight out of 10. The last appetizer I got was a ceviche. I was excited to try primal ceviche because of the depth of flavors they had on their other appetizers. Unfortunately, the disappointment sank in quick because all I can taste was lime. I'm gonna have to give this dish five out of 10. And now for the main event of the evening, I got the Australian Wagyu Ripper. The primal brought to the table was not something that you get at a supermarket that's pumped with steroids, hormones, and preservatives. What they brought to the table was 100% natural beef. And you can obviously taste the difference. From a man who eats steak seven out of seven days a week, I was still blown away by the flavor of the steak at Prime. The quality of the meat was top notch. And the technique in which they cooked it was still. I easily give this steak a 10 out of 10. And that wraps up our trip to Vegas, which ended in a double knockout. First knockout at UFC 296, and the second at Primal Steakhouse. I highly recommend a stop at Primal Steakhouse on your next visit to Vegas. And remember, if you have that flavor, we will find you. Flavor Man signing off.